Welcome back to the channel. Let's give you a tour of the Port Canaveral Disney Cruise Terminal. Let's take a look. See the parking deck for the cruise terminal and it opens around 10 30 10 45 something like that and there is the cruise terminal itself i'll show you that in a minute bridge concourse whatever you want to call it so we park on on uh, the first ground floor of the deck. We like parking there, uh, simply because when we get off the ship, we just drag our suitcases, put them right in the car and take off. So you're gonna wanna park in the parking garage and then you're gonna go up to deck three where you're going to be staged and kind of wait. You can bring your luggage up there if you like uh, we have a tendency to drop ours at the curb and then head on into the, the parking garage. But you can bring your luggage with you and they'll have porters that will pick up your luggage. Um, make sure you bring some cash, give them a nice tip. So that far corner there is where you're, where you're going to start staging. So. Typically, it's a pretty long line because you're all going to work your way back through these doors up here, down that table that you see on your left. So here's the view from the back of the line. There's the doors you're going to be going through. Uh, so you just kind of hang out here for a little while, and then you're going to make your way past those tables that I showed you earlier, and here's where you're going to want to have your your ID, your driver's license, your passports. You want to show them everything so that they can check you off on the on the passenger list to make sure you are who you are. So we show them our passports. And there we head across that bridge I showed you earlier. So at the end of this bridge, uh, you will go one of two ways to enter security. We'll look, check your backpack and, you know, kind of a standard, like a TSA. Uh, but there is one on this level, and you will see a little bit uh, that we are sent down the escalator to the, to the ground floor security area. So down the escalator you go. After you're on that bridge for a bit, come down here and if you see this area, this is the security area. This is where they check your luggage and all that stuff. So you're gonna head back up the escalators and now you're in the cruise terminal proper. And it's a large area. And if you are a regular passenger, uh, you, this is the line you're gonna go in to get checked in. And that is where they will hand you your key to the world card. So for almost all the passengers, that's the line to get into. And there's plenty to do, plenty to do while you are waiting. Uh, they have characters come out. You'll see Mickey will come out. Uh, Pluto, I've seen Pluto. And even Goofy will come out. So there's, there's plenty to keep you entertained while you wait. Over here on the right, that 
gets filled up pretty quickly. There are some tables down at the end of the mouse ears. That's where you enter to get on the ship. There's the line for the for the passengers. The mouse ears. That's where you go when you're ready to, to get on board the ship. That's the concierge waiting area. They have a big model ship of the Disney Magic. A big cutaway model ship, so shows you the exterior on this side. As you work your way around, it's cut away so that you'll see, you know, the rooms where the engines are, you know, the, the elevators. So it's pretty cool. There's Goofy. Goofy comes out. And if you look close enough on the floor, I don't have any good video of this, but if you look close enough on the floor, it actually shows the Caribbean islands. So it's actually a map of the Caribbean. There's the other Captain Mickey outfit. I really got to give the people in these costumes a lot of credit. They do an amazing job. You know, not being able to speak, <laughs> carrying around a big head like that. It's, uh, they do an amazing job. What a, what a terrific. Terrific cast members. And who doesn't love Mickey? So if you happen to be staying concierge, this area down here is pretty much uh, exclusive to concierge. So this is where the concierge check-in is. So if you are staying concierge, you can avoid that other line. You're going to come here and that's where you're going to check in and they will hand you your gold key to the world card. Out those doors is an observation deck, good view of the ship. So in here is the concierge waiting area and concierge typically is called in first and you will be going through those doors. But the back-to-back -back cruisers and concierge members, platinum club members, all of those are, are going to have priority boarding. That observation deck out there, uh, you can smoke there to the left. And it's a good overall view of the ship as they load it, uh, clean it, get everything ship shape, so to speak. So as it gets closer to boarding, uh, the terminal does get a little bit crowded. So if you do have a seat and you up and move somewhere, then you know, you're going to lose your seat. So then you're going to queue up. They're going to give you a boarding number, one through, I think, 13. I guess it depends on the size of the, the cruise, but you'll queue up, you'll get in line, and this is where you will head through the Mickey ears. I'll tell you, make sure you have your key to the world card out. Through the years we go. So 
So, the reason why they have you with the key to the world card out is because as you go through this checkpoint, and they will scan you in. From that point forward, you are officially on the ship's list, on the ship's list of passengers. So up ahead, if you want uh, some pictures taken uh, with, the, with the ship as a background, uh, you can get your picture taken up here. And if you're not going to get your picture, they'll open up another area and you can walk straight through. We've had our picture taken. So we've, we've gone through that rite of passage, if you will. So from here, you enter the, the glass gangway that you saw earlier in this video. And the next step is to actually board the ship. They have two cast members, one on each side of the door, who will be announcing your arrival. They will ask for your your name. So you give them your name, and then they will welcome Such a sheep. your family on board. Typically the rooms aren't ready until usually about 2, 2.30, something like that. If your concierge are ready much sooner than that, you pretty much they will take you up to the concierge lounge where you will hang out for a little while and then they will announce that your room is ready. So it doesn't take very long at all. So from here, most people are at Cabana's grabbing a bite to eat. That is ridiculously crowded. Um, I cautioned you to avoid that <laughs> at all costs. So unless you're hungry, go ahead and go to Cabana's, but otherwise you can hang out on deck. So somewhere around 4 or 4.30, uh, the ship will start to make its way out of the channel. This is about the time when they'll be having their sailing away party on deck 11. Uh, so as the ship starts to move, uh, most people are at the sailing away party. So you will head out the channel and be on your way to your first destination. We hope you found this information helpful. So from Disney Magical Days, may all of your wishes and dreams come true. So please like, comment, subscribe, mash the notification bell, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.